Good day, Managing Collections students. This is Cynthia with your Monday message. And before we get started, I just want to share with you um, this just hilarious video that I've been watching over and over again. And I'll throw the link in with our announcement for the Monday message. But this is um, a parody of Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk um, in the library. So it's pretty funny, pretty sweet. And if you need a laugh, it's a great great choice so moving on I'm gonna pop over here to blackboard and just a couple housekeeping things um, I just want to remind you Ann and I want to remind you that when you email us um, if you email through blackboard that is the proper way to send us an email however if you are in a hurry and it's an emergency just go ahead and shoot us an email but um, when you send us an email to our school emails and we reply through Blackboard, that is because that is um, UNO policy. So we'll try to keep to that. But again, if you have an emergency, just get us get us the information or let us know as quickly as you can and we'll go from there. All right, so we are in the process of going through 4.2 Part B and um, I am have to say I am really loving all of the titles that you guys are sharing with us so if you have a chance to go through the discussion board one of the reasons why we use the discussion board is so that you can share that information um, and go through and just see what some of the books people are sharing um, there's some great ones a few that I had on my list to read and I bumped them to the top and a few that I didn't know about so um, we're working through those we are in the process of um, looking up each title that you recommend so that we can make sure that you are connecting that title with your kids and your invisible groups. So that's going to take us a little bit. Also, we're looking at your citations. And again, um, Purdue Owl is a really great resource. I'm going to just grab hold of that for you really quick. And... Um, Again, you're going to want to just review some of those, um, that process for APA um, for graduate work. And it is, um, this is a really great resource because it kind of goes through all the possibilities of um, <clears throat> what you might find or what you might need. So, again, um, go ahead and use that. Um, quite a bit. I use it a lot to refer to and to kind of double check your work. So we're going through citations, we're going through the list of books that you've sent us and um, looking up the books to make sure that they match. So we will keep working on those and get them back to you um, as soon as we can. So we're going to go over to um, Blackboard and take a look at 4.3 which um, will be using the what and we've got a template for you for 4.3 and we've got a PDF as well as a Word doc for you to take a look at and I'm gonna hop over here and we're just gonna um, kinda review what this assignment is going to involve um, you're going to select three resources one fiction, one nonfiction, and one website in a specific curricular area to use as a recommendation for the school library. Um, so you're going to use the selection tools that we have already used. Um, Novelist and Tidal Wave and Mackin and School Library Journal are all great resources. Booklist, um, Hornbook, all of those are definitely ones you're going to want to take a look at. And then the criteria for choosing each of those resources. And we give you the criteria that you're going to use to make your choices. So I am going to go over to our example. And here's um, the actually the example template. I made one so that we can go through it. So you're going to start at the top with curriculum area. And my topic is going to be butterflies. And my description is in second grade science class, students are learning about butterflies, including life cycle migration, patterns, and issues surrounding their changing habitats. The student will have cross-curricular activities including migration calculation, descriptive writing, and art projects. So that is a pretty thorough description of what um, area, what topic 
we're going to be doing in our second grade science class and I'm going to make my choices for my books based on that. So the first one is going to be a fiction title, um, APA citation for that, and your rationale should be two to three sentences for each one of these. So validity, um, we're going to take a look at validity. Is it accurate? Is it a really great novel from 20 years ago so that it has some misinformation in it? It's probably not going to be a good choice for this particular unit. Maybe for something else it would work, but maybe not um, to go with the science unit. Um, does it address current issues for butterflies? Do butterflies have issues? Um, so there are, those are the validity pieces that you're going to want to take into account for that particular fiction title. And then contribution to the curriculum. How does that book fit in to your second grade science unit? Is it um, supporting their life cycle? Is it a story of kids who um, follow some butterflies on their migration pattern? Where does it fit? Um, you need to be able to really justify those two things for that fiction title. Um, and again, with validity and contribution to cur curriculum, um, it might be a little bit challenging, but there are definitely some great books out there that will fit that. Okay, then we're going to move on to your nonfiction title, which will be APA cited again. And this one's going to be user appeal. Is it nice to look at? Does it have graphs? Does it have pretty pictures? Um, does it have those nonfiction text features like the glossary and the table of contents and all of those really cool things that second graders love? Um, all of those things should be present in that title. And then your viewpoint. Um, is it a one-sided information text about butterflies really don't have any problems? Or is it a um, book that talks about um, butterflies and the environment and migration and deforestation and how does that affect them? And then um, what are the opposing viewpoints? So you're going to want to share with us is it a one-sided viewpoint or is it giving all sides equally and giving the full picture? Regardless of which way it goes, you need to tell us that. And then you're going to take a look at the website. Again, you're going to APA cite that and you'll be able to find that back in the Purdue OWL. It will help you um, cite your website. And then your viewpoint, again, is who's responsible for that information? Um, what is their agenda? Is it um, a group of kids who just believe butterflies should be protected at all costs? Is it a environmental organization? Is it science organization? Who is it? Who's responsible for that and are they objective? And then contribution to the curriculum. Is it just basic information about butterflies? Is it a scientist's website who's tracked them over the years and is giving their information and what they found in um, regard to butterflies? Or is it an artist who specializes in butterfly representations and drawings and artwork? And that's going to fit in with your cross-curricular um, art projects that you, we talked about up here at the top. So that's going to be the template for 4.3. Now let's take a look at the rubric. And again, we are asking you to really reach. Um, as far as tasks, we aren't asking a great many of tasks that we have um, had in the past. However, we are asking for a lot of depth. So if you notice here in the description of the topic, to get three points, you need to give us some breadth, some focus, and some description of what exactly you are going to study. So this description is pretty detailed. And so that would be probably a three. Um, a one would be, we're studying butterflies. And that's it. So just kind of keep in mind, you've got a range there. It isn't just, do you have it or do you not? Then we're going to go down to our titles that we're choosing. And for each one of those, fiction, nonfiction, and your website, your target um, points are, would be six points. And we have two criteria for each title. So basically, we're looking at three points per criteria. 
and so that kind of tells you how we're going to break that down and if you give us some really good um, rationale and some description about how that book fits um, into the unit then and how it fits that criteria then you're going to get those full points if you just kind of do the minimum that's acceptable you're going to get three to four and then down here at the bottom we're going to take a look at the citations and your citations are going to be nine points for um, three perfect citations so if you have some mistakes um, you will lose points here and there and the way that probably will break down is you will get three points per citation so just keep that in mind that's kind of how that's going to break down as well so that is the rubric and that is the template and I am going to um, pop over to Novelist and just kind of give you a demonstration of how um, we can start searching for a topic. Um, just want to draw your attention to this book, Orbiting Jupiter by Gary Schmidt. Um, I read this, loved it, cried like a baby, get some tissues, and spend an evening with that one. It was amazing. All right, so we're going to search for butterflies. And we're going to end up with a whole bunch of um, results. And right here, I can choose fiction. My computer is going to get really slow. But I could choose fiction. I can change my date. I can bring that up or down. I can also switch it to nonfiction when I get ready to look for those. I can also go to advanced search and I've still got my keyword butterflies sitting in there. So now I can add maybe something to go along with oops, that butterfly topic. Whoa, my computer just went bunkers. Okay. So we'll put butterflies in there and then maybe we will put air pollution all right so we'll throw those two in there and we'll kind of see what we get and again we can do fiction nonfiction we can change the dates and that's kind of how you can use some of those um, filters to really drill down and get a great choice for your kids. And then the last thing I just want to share with you, um, we've been talking about selection criteria and integrity and validity. And so this book kind of came across my desk this past week and it's about a young lady, 11 year old girl in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, who um, makes mixtapes from band music that she gets through a antenna that she found in the dump and she's making tapes and she's selling them because she wants to buy a bicycle and I had a few concerns just about the validity of the book and the author and so this was one where I went and I um, pulled up the book in Novelist um, I went through the reviews kind of looked to see what what the general um, feel was for this particular book which was it was well received and got good reviews but I also did a little digging on the author herself and found that she grew up in Saudi Arabia is a filmmaker who is very well um, informed and were very well versed in the customs of Saudi Arabia so I felt pretty comfortable with this book in its explanation and depiction of an 11 year old girl in Saudi Arabia so that's kind of the process <coughs> that I went through to make sure that um, that book was was valid and had some integrity before I put it out for my students so that is a lot of information and we'll get you um, more messages throughout the week remember to get a hold of us if you have questions and have a great week. Hunker down and stay warm and make sure you've got lots of goodies because I think we're all going to be stuck at home on Tuesday. <laughs>